Good morning, Key Stage 1 and Early Years, and welcome to this Friday's Friday Assembly. It is our second from last week, meaning you just have one more week of distance learning to go. Today we're going to start by hearing about some of the pupils of the week who are still impressing their teachers even after all of this time. So I will start by going over to your teachers. So let's start with you, Miss Sabibi. Good morning, I hope you've been having a fantastic week. We only have one more week left to go. How exciting is that? My children have been doing some fantastic learning about doctors and vets this week. So we've been looking at the body parts, what they do, and they've been having lots of fun activities. And this week, Star of the Week goes to Kian because he's been handing in some lovely work and I've seen some lovely videos in the past as well. So keep it up. One more week to go, guys. Bye. Uh, good morning, Ewans. How are you? Miss Kathomi here. Today we have a little visitor here. My baby. Wow. I hope you've had a wonderful week because I've really, really, really had a wonderful week with you. Now, you've been really submitting amazing work. It's been awesome. I've seen how much you've improved. And today's start of the week are two amazing boys who've really worked hard and they've put a lot of effort in their work and it's shown. So our first star of the week is Megan. Megan, you've put a lot of effort in your work and you've sent amazing work. And the second star of the week is Bear Tools. Bear has, put, has also put a lot of effort in his work and it's shown. And I am so proud of all of you for working hard, for really, really, really doing your best. And today, as, I, as usual, I'm going to put all of you here. All of you will come here. And when you come here, I'm going to put you in a tiny heart. And I'm going to give you a big, big, big hug. And I say, ooh, big hug. I love you so much and I miss you. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Everyone. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. I love you and I miss you. It's a long time now, three months ago. I can't believe myself, but you've been working hard. And I say thank you, parents, for taking your time for working hard with the children. I thank you for the videos and the pictures. I've been seeing you really interacting with the children. So I'd like to say thank you. And I continue saying keep well, keep safe, and just continue working hard. It's almost at the end. So well done, parents. And I want to appreciate your great help you have done to my children love you all thank you this week the star of the week goes to leanna gatson she did her phonics very well she was circling the first sound of each object well done leanna keep up the good work a huge well done to everyone who has been a star of the week so far as usual, we're going to go over for a story. We like to have a different person reading us a story each week. So this week, we're going to go to Mrs. Kathomi's house. Miss Kathomi, have you got a story ready for us? Hello. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hope you had a fantastic week. Today, we're going to be reading a book called God Lost and the Three Bears. God Looks and the Three Bears is a book most of you have read, most of you have watched the video and have had some um, play on it. Well, this book is dedicated to very special students in Miss Kathomi's class who have actually left. We have Scout, Louisa and Micah. They really love this book so much. So today I'm going to read this book. On their behalf. All right, let's start. God loves and the three bears. Oh, it's a very big book, you know. Once upon a time, there were three bears. There was a great big papa bear. There was a middle-sized mama bear, and there was a teeny tiny baby bear. They all lived together in the woods. They had three chairs, a great big chair for Papa Bear, a middle-sized chair for Mama Bear, 
in the tiny weeny chair for baby bear. You can see there's a huge chair, then there's a middle sized chair, and then there's a small tiny red one there. They had three beds. There was a great big bed for Papa Bear. This is Papa Bear's bed. <clears throat> a middle sized bed for Mama Bear and a teeny weeny bed for Baby Bear. We can hardly see Baby Bear there. Ooh, and they had three bowls of their porridge. This is Papa Bear's, this is Mama Bear's, and this is Baby Bear's. One morning, the porridge was too hot. So the three bears went for a walk in the woods while it cooled. Someone else was walking in the woods that morning. It was a little gold girl with golden hair. Her name was God Looks. She saw the three bears' house. I wonder who lives here, she said, and she walked inside. I wonder if she's going to knock on the door. Good luck saw the three bowls of porridge. She tasted the porridge in the great big bowl, but it was too hot. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, it was too hot. She tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl, but it was too hot too. Oh, everything is hot here. She tasted the porridge in the teeny whiny bowl and it was just right. And she ate all up. She finished everything. Mm, this girl, good looks. So the three chairs. She sat in the great big chair, but it was too high. She couldn't reach it there. She sat in the middle-sized chair, but it was too wide. She sat in the teeny whiny chair, and it was just right. And then, uh-oh, it broke. Can you see? The chair broke. Mm -mm -mm. Someone is going to be mad about that. Good locks saw the three beds. She lay down on the great big bed. But it was too hard. I don't like hard beds too. She lay down on the middle sized bed, but it was too soft. I love the soft beds. She lay down on the tiny, on the teeny weeny bed, and it was just right. Before long good locks was fast asleep. Mm, she slept. Oh, soon. The bears came back from their walk in the woods. Oh, someone's been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Ah, someone's been eating my porridge, said Baby Bear. And it's all gone. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair said baby bear so mama bear sorry someone's been sitting in my chair said baby bear and it's broken then the three bears walked into the bedroom someone's been sleeping in my bed said papa bear someone's been sleeping in my bed said mama bear someone's been sleeping in my bed said baby bear and look, she's still there. Just then, Good Locks woke up. She saw the three bears. They looked very, very angry. Good Locks jumped out of bed. She ran out of the house and she ran and she ran as fast as she could all the way home. And that's the end of our story. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much. Bye. And what a lovely story that was. So now we're going to go back to your teachers to hear some more Pupils of the Week. Good morning, children. How have you been? I hope you've been well. I hope you've had an exciting week of learning. 
Um, so for this week's Star of the Week, I've picked two children. The first one is Baraka Otin. Now Baraka has been very has been working very hard on his handwriting and his spelling. So Baraka, I see the effort you're putting into your work. Well done. Keep up the good work. Our second Star of the Week is Alfred Malongo. Alfred has also been working very hard on his handwriting and his spelling. He has also been working very hard on his story writing skills. Um, so Alfred, I see the effort you're putting in your work. Well done. Keep up the good work. Um, to the rest of you, you're too silver. We have one more week of school left. So I want you to keep working very hard. You've been very consistent over the months. Well done on that. I am very, very proud of all of you. Um, so let's finish strong. We are almost at the finishing point. So keep working very hard um, and have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye bye. Hello reception. How are you? Today is Friday again. I have got two stars of the week. One from reception red and one from reception green. For reception red is Abiram Mata. Well done for some nice maths counting work. And from, from green class, reception green is Rachel. Rachel, well done for your neat handwriting. Now here is something exciting for you. Well, it's even exciting for me. And guess what it is? Tomorrow, it is Mrs. Jetta's birthday. Guess how old she turns? She only turns 16 years old. So when you're at home, remember to sing me happy birthday. Possibly if you can sing and I can hear you, I'll be very, very happy. Bye. Have a lovely weekend. And see you again next week. Bye-bye. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well and you're fine keeping safe at home. I I really, really miss you a lot. It has been quite a long time. Um, I would like to congratulate all of you who have been working very hard, submitting the assignments, doing it to their very best. I know it's been quite a challenging uh, experience, but I'm very proud of you. You have really worked hard you have really shown your best and i'm happy to see that i hope you keep on staying positive and keep on working very hard don't get tired we're almost there i know it's tiring but we're almost there we're almost going to be done so just pull up your socks keep on working today we're going to have one star of the week and the star of the week has been working very hard, especially in mass. I'm very proud. She is able to do all her, has, all her assignments, submitting them, and she's doing it to her very best. This is not other, no other person, but is Nazma Andani. Nazma, congratulations once again for being the star of the week. You are... A very good example apart from math you have been submitting all your assignments on time i'm very proud of you well done she has also been a very good poet and using her rhyming words and uh alliteration well done nazma keep it up i'm also proud of all of you your two goals just keep on working remember we only have few stars of the week but we are all bright stars and we shine very nice i'm very proud of you keep it up we're soon going to have our weekend. So I hope you're going to enjoy it and come with lots of interesting ideas for the weekend news. Okay, bye. Have a nice time. Have a lovely weekend. See you next time. Bye. Good morning, guys. As you can see, our wall of stars is almost filling up. We are almost getting to the end of the term. So our wall of stars is almost filling up. So far, we have Gratian, Amelia, Lamayani, Keisha, Comfort, Abasali, Jonathan, and Aaron. Let's see who's going to be on the wall of stars today so that it fills up. The first one I'm going to give to 
is someone who has been missing in action, but recently he has improved in his attitude to learning online and he's really putting a lot of effort towards his work. And it goes to Brian. So Brian, you are going to be on the wall of stars. Well done, Brian. The next one is someone who joined us recently. She joined us this term, and she has been really putting a lot of effort in all her online lessons, especially in maths. And this one goes to Faustine. Faustine, we are on the wall of stars. Well done, Brian. Well done, Faustine. And well done to everybody. I hope to see you soon. Enjoy your weekend until we meet again next week. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. See you. And that is the end of our assembly this week. That means we have my favourite part left, which is the songs. So, I'm going to cut this video to some songs. You only have two Friday assemblies left, so make sure you are singing loud, you are dancing around your houses, keep your energy levels up on this Friday morning, and let's have some songs.
And I'm afraid that is all for our assembly this week. Next week is our last week at distance learning in school. So keep your eyes peeled for your assembly next Friday. That will be our last assembly. And I will have lots of information for you about things next year. So you may see some messages in the week on Edmodo. But also keep a lookout. Make sure you watch next week assembly for some news about things that are happening next year. So have a great weekend. Keep working hard for your last week. One more week to go, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.